Hey Chimas, welcome back to another newscast. So, how have you guys been? Life is good right now. Pretty good. Yeah, I've been pretty good too. I got my classes for try three, by the way. How about you guys? Um, I did too. Yeah, me too. Now on to the sunny side op. Welcome back, HMS, to the second to last sunny side op. It went by so fast, but anyways, it's time to get started. Sunnyside High School proudly presents Matilda the Musical. Opening shows were last weekend, but there's three more chances to catch the show. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., Friday at 7 p.m., or Saturday at 7 p.m. Admission is $8 for adults and $5 for students. 509 in Saturday Basketball is looking for 7th grade girls to compete a team out of Sunnyside. If you're interested, tryouts will be this Sunday, March 5th at Sierra Vista from 2.30 to 3.30. Tryout fees is $5. That's going to be all. See you guys next week. We already started to see confetti eggs make their way to HMS. As a reminder, confetti eggs are not allowed on campus. If you are seen with them in person or on camera, there will be consequences. Please pick up your trash when you are outside. There are trash cans available and it's still not looking too great. We wouldn't want eating outside or even the cupcake being taken away if we don't clean our school. Let's do better. HMS, welcome back with another sports segment with the one and only, Diego. It feels good to be back. Let's get started. The girls had their last basketball game of the season last Thursday, and sadly, everybody lost. And that puts a wrap to the girls' basketball season. See you guys next year for an amazing season. The boys' wrestling team had their last match last Wednesday. We hope to see you guys next year for another great season. And don't forget to keep practicing your wrestling moves so you won't forget them next year. Since Diego is here, I figured we should ask him a couple questions. To start off, how long have you been wrestling? I've been wrestling since I was like five or six, I'd say. Yeah. What, what inspires you to do what you do? Probably um, my dad and um, just seeing everybody succeed and just me wanting to do more. How did your season go this year? My season went pretty good, I'd say. Not as I wanted it to, but I ha I did lose a couple times, but that was basically it. But I did pretty good, I'd say. Do you plan to wrestle in high school? Yes, I do plan to wrestle in high school. I, I plan to wrestle in high school, and I hope, and I hope I'm lucky enough to wrestle in college for wrestling. Thank you for coming out here and recording with us. Yeah, thank you for having me too, Julian. Attention one and two sport athletes, please turn in your gear to Ms. Gennard's room 131 or Turn it in to Mr. Van Pell in the boys' locker room if you haven't turned in your gear. Basketball and wrestling fans will be sent out as soon as your coach provides us with the missing items. Remember, spring sports start March 20th. Keep checking the list in the cafeteria and make sure you are approved to play sports. And you have to pay your A's B fee of $20 before spring sports begin. Baseball players will need the following items for practice this year. Mitt, hat, long sleeve shirts, long pants, jock strap, and cup. And don't forget your cleats. And remember, if you have any questions, ask Coach Van Pelt. That's all we have. See you guys next week. Trimester two ends next Thursday, but there's still time to work on getting those grades up. Saturday school starts this Saturday from nine to noon. Let your teacher know or sign up in the library if you are interested. You have until March 6th, which is next Monday to turn in any missing assignments. After that, it'll be too late. Question of the week. Last week's answer was the mother-son dance, and the winner is Toten Chavez. Stop by the office to collect your prize from Ms. Simon. This week's question of the week, when is the last day to turn in missing assignments for try two? If you think you know the answer, leave your response in the box found in the office. Staff, if you made the PBIS leaderboard any time in the month of February, you were entered into a raffle. The February winner is... Let's check out this week's jokes with Julian. And tongue twisters. With Mr. Fish and Avery. What does the nosy pepper do? Get all up in your business. Why did the broom go to bed? It was sweepy.
A synonym for cinnamon is a, is a cinnamon synonym. A synonym for cinnamon is a synonym cinnamon. A synonym for a cinnamon is a cinnamon synonym. A synonym for cinnamon is a cinnamon cinnamon. Wait, what the? Alright, a cinnamon. Oh my god. A cinnamon for cinnamon is a cinnamon cinnamon. Oh, what the heck? No, I can't, I can't. Take the first one. Tomorrow, 8th grade band and orchestra has a concert. From 6 to 6.30 in the gym. If you can't make it, 6th and 7th grade band has their concert next Tuesday. Come support. This message is for 8th grade. Are you listening? Okay, good. This Friday, high school counselors is coming to HMS. They will be visiting 8th graders during your science classes. So, make sure you are here so you can hear what they have to say. Reminder, Latino Culture Club has a meeting today in the library after school. Well, that's all. One more newscast, just a heads up. Well, take care everybody. Stay out of trouble. But as always, HMS, we leave with a reminder where a community of learners working together to reach our fullest potential. Go, Go